Absolutely, Jen. And speaking of, I'm with actor producer Patrick Renna right now. He's originally from Boston, so we have a challenge going on. When he gets excited, his Boston accent comes out. So our challenge is in the next three minutes to get that accent out of it. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> now, Patrick, I usually ask people, you know actors who come down to Comic Con what gets you most excited about the event. But you know, I think your your question is already answered. You've already gotten a gift from a fan. I did. Break this down for me. Well, as I was telling you, I didn't really understand why the deer, but this is the outfit that I wore in the movie. And then as we were chatting, I realized the deer is from the movie. The line is that wimpy deer. So the fan apparently knows more about the Sandlot than even I do. So kudos to her. And thank you very much. It's my table mascot now. So Brilliant. Now, I know what, while off camera we were talking about, you've technically never attended a Comic-Con but as, as a participant. Yeah, but here you yeah. are as a talent. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, you know, it's, I always love doing it because it's the perfect opportunity to meet a fan or meet someone that loves the movie and get to chat about it. They're here for that. I'm here for that. I've had my coffee, so there's, you know, I'm ready. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, you know, and I think my favorite part about it, uh, at least, you know, when we, when we, see, when I see three generations of people that are still watching this movie, it sort of blows my mind. You know, you see a grandfather, his son, and his son's daughter, and, you know, the movie came out 20 years before she was born, and she loves it. That's pretty special, so to be part of something like that's great, you know? That's beautiful. And uh, speaking of movies, you just recently transitioned from an actor to a producer with yeah. uh, your movie Bad Roomies. What made you transition to that? Um, you know, I mean, in Bad Roomies, I acted and produced, but um, I probably won't do that again. I don't know how those guys do it. It's, it's too much work. Uh, but I think... Just going to the other side of the camera is something I always wanted to experience, and it's kind of like a player going to become a coach. You know, I have I've been hit plenty of times as an actor, as as in that tackled like football. So now I'm just going to stop getting hit and start telling people how to avoid the tackles. You know. So what next? Direction? Are we going to talk about directing movies now? I don't know. I you know I I've taken some classes uh, in my sort of younger days, and it's something I would love to do, but I feel like you need to have so much experience working with a camera that I would want to get a bit more trained in that before I tackled it. All right, then let me ask you this. You've done TV series, you're talking about CSI, Boston Legal, and oh, then... okay, your accent came out. <laughs> Boston... Did you get a little excited? <laughs> I, I like got it. excited. Okay, good. And, um, and then you've, got, you've done movies as well. What, what, do, you, do you prefer one platform over the other? I, I would say I always will have a love for movies. However, with the way that Netflix and Hulu and all these companies do things now, everything's basically a movie. It just split up over eight episodes. So I think that sort of movie slash uh, mini series vibe, you know, like uh, half of the shows on Netflix, that's my main love. Uh, just because you can kind of embrace a character and then you can be done with it and move on to something else. Um, I don't know, that's sort of where I, I live, I think, yeah. Sorry that, that. It's all good. That's amazing. All right, Jen. So listen, we're going to be talking to more celebrities while we're out here at the... Not just me? Uh, well, listen, you're the top one, right? <laughs> and you know what? Since I got you here, yeah, yeah. how about you say this in a Boston accent back to you, Jen? No, no, no. I, the reason it, it comes out only when I'm excited. I cannot pretend to do it, and I will not do it justice. I'll just do it. Back to you, Jen. Trust me. You don't want it. Thanks, Patrick. And that just means that we're going to have to talk to you again so we can hear it next time. Thanks for that live report. We'll check back in with you.